Hello, everybody. Welcome to a wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Stationeers. What is this game, man? Well, this is a game that I saw show up on Steam and it attracted me and I decided to plunge in. I paid full price for the game and so I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about the game and go from there and then explain kind of the mechanics of the game and then we'll get to the let's play of the whole thing and I think that's kind of the format we're going to go for and yeah thank you everybody for sticking around for those of you who are still subscribed and we're waiting for the next episode I appreciate that and let's continue stationers so on this I'm just going to read off what's off the steam store page and we'll kind of go from there and then I'll go into the game and all that fun stuff okay so Construct and manage your own space station and ships either by yourself in single player with friends online or with friends online. I missed that. Uh, this is going to be hilarious, folks. Fully functioning atmospherics, science, power, engineering, medical and agricultural systems. Explore to find asteroids and construct elaborate factories to harvest your resources. Sounds pretty amazing, hey? Like that to me, that's that's a good lofty description exciting and it's now about this game stationers puts you in control of the construction and management of a space station either by yourself in single player or online multiplayer with your friends inspired by the the, the beloved space station 13 i should have done research on that i have no idea what space station 13 is so i don't know if it's beloved but anyways uh, complex atmospheric electrical manufacturing medical agricultural and gravitational systems require your thought and management at all time kind of interesting isn't it and then there's features so the features of the game are detailed construction system rewards well-designed architectural atmospheric and electrical plants that's kind of cool so it sounds like you have to kind of design your systems and you know, poorly designed systems won't work as well as as efficiently designed so that's kind of cool it almost sounds like factorio in that sense and atmospheric system includes temperature pressure combustion gas mixtures water and fire oh that sounds amazing full physics on dynamic items in the world including atmospheric effects such as wall fatigue and explosive decompression oh this is going to be interesting Various dangerous environments to explore and develop, including exotic planets and asteroid belts. So, this game is in alpha, or, so or early access. I shouldn't say alpha; it's an early access. So, I purchased the game based on that. That what I felt is available in the game and how much is playable. And I'm surprised at how well the game works. Some people would differ otherwise. In the comments, you can see them kind of brutalizing the interface. But I think it's a mixture of you kind of have to relearn everything. That's why I kind of want to go through the controls and everything in this, kind of after all this description and everything. But yeah, but anyways, uh, I will continue with what I'm talking about here. A fully deformable voxel train on worlds and asteroids enhances mining and exploration. Build flyable motherships to assist your exploration and resource gathering efforts. Sounds interesting. Farm livestock and grow plants not only for food but also as an uh, integral part of the station's atmospherics. Really? So it's going to actually take gases into effect? and. I'm going to have a drink here, folks, so so if you want, pause the video, grab a drink and tasty treats. Oh, man, I'm thirsty today. Whew. Excuse me. Okay. Um, construct complex factories in space using machines, conveyors, and computers. That sounds exciting. Use the medical system to cure ailments faced by other stationers. So there's going to be actually like a disease thing or whatever. That's kind of interesting. Designed from the ground up for multi-threading to ensure great multiplayer performance and scalability. Cool. Stationers is designed for hardcore players who want a game that is systems orientated. Full utilization and optimization of these complex systems will only come from the great knowledge and practice. I put there or the in there for whatever reason, but uh, the game presents a variety of science-based survival problems that you must address. 
Um, resource and time pressures will drive your initial designs, but the demands of a thriving station will guide you later. Space is empty and the planets are unforgiving to human life. You and your friends initially must decide how to meet your basic needs. Longer term, you'll need to engineer solutions to power, heat, resource, and atmospheric problems. Build the most efficient systems you can by utilizing machines and programmable computers to develop automated systems. Oh man, this is so smexy. Uh, whether on a distant, lonely planet or deep inside an asteroid belt, you control every aspect of building and running your station or mothership. Harvest nearby resources and use a wide range of tools to construct the ultimate station. Everything your station requires will be built and managed by you and your friends. What do you do with all that ore you mine? You process it through machines and turn it into goods for more construction, of course. But there are lots of specialist machines to build and configure such as smelters, sorters, centrifuges, centrifuges, stackers, conveyors, fabricators, and more. Stations are generally safe locations, but motherships are flyable stations which allow you to leave that safety behind. These are excellent platforms for your exploration and resource gathering efforts. They are constructed in the same way as stations, but require complex machinery to manage their engines, life support, and combat systems. Doesn't that sound amazing? Like, that is huge. It's almost like... I don't know. I don't want... I hate comparing games to other games that are on the market, and really, in its own right, this is unique, and it's very different, and I think people need to get away from comparisons and just check this game out for what it is so yeah so so thank you everybody for listening to this uh, in the description below i'm just going to put all the relevant links and all that fun stuff you know if you would, if you would like to donate to help out the channel and to help kind of recoup some cost for the computer i purchased that would be fantastic and i know i'm totally yeah i shouldn't be doing that but whatever you know, other people do in other places, and people get donations for acting silly and being retarded, so... Ah, why not? <laughs> I'm not going to be shameless about it. Shameless plug, right? Um, so basically now, after I've read everything, um, I was just going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do. So basically we're going to play through the tutorial so I can explain the controls. And then basically once we're done that, we'll start up a new world, and then we'll cut it there, and then episode 2 which will be the Let's Play, and we'll continue playing and exploring the game and all that exciting stuff. I just felt I needed to get this out to all of you folks. The timing is there, and not very many people are doing this game, and I wanted to give this game a good, decent foundation. And yeah, let's go see what this game is all about. So there's a tutorial here. You definitely want to do this. I have uh, you turned up all my settings on my system very high, and let's just do the tutorial. Now this will load. I find the loading not too bad. It loads really good. I find the game itself functions very nicely, correctly. You can kind of move around here. I find the walking a little bit odd. Look at that. Look at that. I'm hoping you can build all this stuff. I imagine you can. Why else would this be here? And cannot interact. So they've closed this off for the, uh, the tutorial. But man... I'm hoping we can do something exactly like this or similar to this. So this must be a spaceship that we're on. And looks like there's storage in here. Which we can't kind of look into. It's locked. Yeah, storage open. So basically the interface of the game is kind of unique. Kind of see off to the left the helmet, suit, back, uniform belt. Top left hand corner we have the quest. Top right hand corner we have your character. It automatically randomly generates your character all the time. So be aware of that. It tells you external pressure, temperature, and your movement, right? And it shows kind of a little an animation of your character as you look around, right? It's kind of cool. So let's continue. So wearing the spacesuit, find the space helmet and put it in your left hand or right hand slot by clicking the left mouse button over the green interactable you see when looking at it. So you see the green. You can mouse. Uh, you can use the E or the R to switch between the left and right hand. You can actually just use the one key, but you can actually directly... There's a reason why it, it flips back and forth like that, and you'll understand as soon as you pick up some of this stuff. So let's left click, boom. Now it's in my right hand. Now to wear it, I guess I have to push one and hold. Now that's the problem with this game is people don't like 
is the fact that you can't like click and drag it or you know there's a few standards that other games have done and you know this one kind of goes away from that but i once you play the game further you kind of understand kind of why you don't want to do that this is a lot more quicker and efficient and remember the game's early access so all this could change and we might have to redo the whole start and i would have to do a whole new version so so yeah so basically as of what day is, is it today january the 4th as of january the 4th this game is basically what i'm playing right now the tutorial and then we'll go from there so i put my suit on you can see in the the top right hand corner you can see i put the, the helmet on now we're going to do the eva suit we'll do the exact same thing put in the two there is sound and hopefully the sound is okay i'm going to have to evaluate that when i i load up the game through the editor or the game <laughs> load up the footage through the editor now we want to wear the space pack which is three all right and now the door opens and looks like there's a decompression happening in here or there's air flowing into here isn't that pretty cool i think that's pretty cool it's probably because these vents here active vent sent inward active vent looks like it's on right now interesting can i not open this oh no i'm stuck in here ah okay so now it tells me powering the spacesuit find a battery cell large and pick it up into your left hand or right hand so the same kind of stuff pick up battery cell large that's these bad boys here i like how they glow look at that they look so cool i just man my new machine yeah the graphics are kind of a certain way but i have a feeling they're going to improve them this is just a quick well it's early access right I have a feeling they're going to smooth it out. They're going to add a lot more. The, the ideas are there. You know, the game is about components and pieces. It tells you the battery is full. You, I hit two to open up the slot. Then you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in between all these things. We're going to pick uh, the life support because it's the battery. right? And then because I have it selected down on the right, I can just, um, I think, press and hold... Uh, what the F I think and it throws it in there now I need the other stuff I need a filter so we need to basically grab the filter put it in the right hand we move it to the filter slot we, we push the uh, the F and put it in there All right and yeah there we go so now we can pick up the handheld tablet we left click right now we can pick up the battery so we want to scroll we want to close this so we hit two to close oh look at that you can even turn other so if you hit two once you get this if you hit it again you get kind of like a menu thing which you can scroll through and, and activate and then that closes it so it just so this is what people mean that you know the interface seems clunky but there's a reason why there's all these slots and i kind of can see why they built the game the way they have so now I want to change to my left hand. I can hit E and we're going to pick this up. And then we want to open up our right hand. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Okay, open up the handheld tablet slot window in hands. Oh yeah, so I hit the R again. We have the battery selected. And then we would hit E. And then I think we would hit F. And then we would hit E so that we, we hold this again. And then now we can turn on the handheld tablet. So I think if we hit um, R, I can pick the on. I think it's left click, is it? Or is it F on that? It's F on that. See, it's weird where you have to turn things on and off. And so now this is the, the encyclopedia. You can see it. I can, when your mouse wheel scroll through this, if I hit R again, I can close that little menu. And then I can scroll through everything here this is basically everything you can craft it tells you in the top left hand corner there's a cartridge inserted if we open up the slots you can see the e-reader so it's loaded with everything so now it wants us to find recipe 26 so if you see that recipe number you can just basically scroll down to 26 it's muffin so now we get to learn oh okay so i need a microwave so what do i do okay i need to pick up a microwave so let's pick that up oh i Right here on the side you want to grab and then you want to place it so 
you drop on the bench. I think we just left click and hold or, or right click. No. Um, ah, Q. So Q and hold. Oh, wait, that's a throw. Ah. Uh, how do I not throw it? I don't want to throw it. Um, e. Uh, ooh, okay, there we go. We threw our tannel tablet. Because what I did one time is I grabbed one of these things and I threw it through the wall and it was gone. And I don't even know, want to know what would happen. So I'm just going to. Uh, press the Q quickly, and then we're going to uh, wrench. That's right. So now we want to hit three to open up the pack. We can mouse wheel to the wrench. We can hit F to put it into our hand. On the side here, we can then left click and hold. It's going to connect. So now you see it's plugged in. Looks like we can connect two things onto this table here. Looks like there's a wrench on the floor here as well for some reason. I don't know if that was there or if you create it when you open up your thing. Uh, so now I can put that back in my slot. F. I'm going to close my my backpack. Now we're going to open up the microwave. We're going to grab the flower here. I think that's this stuff. Left click. And see, just go. You left click to add 50 units. Shabam. I'm going to hit Q over here to put it there. And add some milk. Some 10 milliliters of milk. So looks like we do five units the walking is kind of weird when you press you go like fast like it's like you're running which is cool and, and you're fine it's really good so now we want to add five units of milk so i think it's just uh it's or no sorry 10 milliliters so two clicks one two it tells you there's 10 milliliters in there let's put that right there and this one we left click to open oh look at these we left click to take the egg yeah, it's a lot of uh, monkeying around with uh, with components, but I completely see why, and I like it. You know, the kind of stuff I like. I like the detail of games like this. Uh, oh no! Right, I need to uh, just left click because it's still the same thing. Then we can close the door and we press the button. Percentage. What about a ping? We close the curtain. Now look at that, we've got a muffin. So now I can drop the handheld tablet. Where, where, where should I drop that? Let's drop it over here. Okay, where the tool belt, the belt slot? Looks like that's the tool belt. So we pick that up, push, hold five. Pick up steel sheets in the left hand, right hand. We'll put it in our left hand, steel sheets. Close your space helmet visor. So. Okay, how do I do that? Oh yeah, I know. One. Now you can go close mask, so I can hit F on that, and then yeah, then we can kind of go. It changes the sound. Oh, that's so cool. I'm I'm hoping you can hear that all, folks. But so now we can go through the airlock here, and we can close this. So now we have this whole interface. This is what's cool about the game is these interfaces. And goes probably here power oh so it looks like power and data maybe connects into these things maybe one of these vents so outward outward so maybe airlock uh, sensor pressure so this is how we would figure out to build ourselves this is probably interior airlock data this is power Data power. Okay, so it seems quite straightforward. I think once you hook this stuff up, it's pretty automatic. You can turn the console on and off. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to cycle the power. It kind of tells you in the in the top left hand about it. We left click. There's no sounds for this, obviously. I would like almost like an alien's like meow 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 and. <laughs> Now we're in zero G as it informed us, and this looks like a inch. Uh, really? It won't let me fly that way. How far? up? Uh, I'm stuck in a box. I'm in a small box here. That's hilarious. So you can go control or space to go up or down. And so let's do what it says. So there's a little problem here. This isn't connected to anything because right here we have uh, you broke a wire, so this tells me things can break and then we'll have to fix them. So we'll have to know our systems and understand them, know how they work. So that's why I kind of want to play single player and learn how to build everything. 
suit information top right hand corner tells you internal external. So if you open up, up the visor, it would start to kill you. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Um, so let's equip our wire cutters. So I think it's in their belt. Let's pick a right hand. And I think the wire cutters are this thing. I wish it would I wish you could kind of tool tip it, like have it tell you what the tool is, but I don't think there is a way to do that. Uh, maybe if I looked in the controls, but we're just kind of following through. Okay, and so let's see. Let's go F to put it into the right hand. Now I left click to deconstruct. Now it looks like the, it wants us to build the cable. So I'm going to pick the cable and hit F to replace it. And then I'm going to I'm going to replace the cable quotes. Yes, right. Okay. Oh, we need to rotate. So we can rotate with you know, delete, um, page down, home, and insert and page up, right? And so this will all behave a certain way. We need to basically pick a configuration. Uh, there should be other options. Mouse wheel, I think I can change the cable type. Oh, this is what we need. We need like a junction. And then we need to rotate it. Um, like this, and I think that will do it. Yeah, I think we'll do it. Bam! Now this is connected. This has power, but now we need to w weld this together. I think uh, some tools require two things to operate. To weld the frame, you will need a welding torch in your active hand and steel sheets in your quick keys. You menu. So let's open up our belt. Five. Let's pick. That's the welder. Let's replace it. The wire. See. So we got that. Um, then what we can do is is we can then, I think, hold and left click. Uh, weld the frame. So oh yeah, construct frames. Um, welding torch is not core really operable. Oh, because I probably need to turn it on. Uh, our, our looks like there's gas in it it's kilopascals it f to turn it on now you see the little flame on it now i can hold and left click to construct shabam and this is where it, it tells you oh hey, you passed time to go into the deep end so there you go folks so that was a quick rundown of station ears if that is something you'd like to play then definitely check out the store links i purchased the game at full pop because i want to kind of give an opportunity an opportunity for these developers to actually make a game that is awesome and looks like it's on a good track it's on a good pace and and basically the next episode we're going to get into the let's play we're going to create a new world right now all we can pick is survival we can do creative but i'd rather do the survival it's way more fun i don't mind dying uh, or learning the game the hard way and we're going to learn together and go from there uh, but at least you know the controls you understand kind of the jankiness of everything and i don't know you know i have a feeling they're going to refine their controls and work on it but it's uh, but just like everything i have to preface this it's early access so be aware of that so you're buying an early access title right so but anyways thank you everybody for watching hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and next episode we'll get to the survival we'll get into character customization and kind of explore this world of stationeers thank you everybody for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see you all in the next episode bye bye